Hey, Miss and Mosquitoes, how y'all doing? Um, if y'all celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Turkey Day. Um, but I definitely want to say rest in peace to the ancestors that were here before that. Um, that was uh, tortured and enslaved and beat and raped and killed today. I mean, yesterday. Um, all those years ago when um, uh, Genome decided to come to America and say that this was their land and took advantage of the people and um, talked about how the people were so nice and how they would give them anything and how they showed them the way and showed them their way and loving and caring and how they said it, Columbus said that they would make great slaves. I just want it to be known to everyone that... Um, that's what thanksgiving is it's for the pilgrims it's not for any indigenous or any native people you're supposed to eat good every single day this is not supposed to be any different than any other day um i'll allow my kids to take part with whatever they choose to take part in but i do tell them the truth um i have a small one and um i educate him as well as he would like to endure but he understands that millions of um, people were slaughtered yesterday, many years ago. We didn't want to talk about that. I made that post, barely people liked it. I'm trying to fucking tell you. It's crazy to me. It's really crazy to me. I don't fucking get it. I don't understand. Is it just me? Tell me in the comments. Let me know. Is it just me? Am I the only one that gives a fuck that millions of people were slaughtered on Thanksgiving Day? And Christopher Columbus fucking lied and took advantage and made them fucking slaves. Impregnated that woman. Made half three fucking children. Is someone going to say anything? I'm just saying. I made a post about it and nobody really liked it. It's fucking crazy because if I would have posted a picture of me twerking my ass, I would have had thousands of fucking likes. It's fucking annoying. Anyway, um, I already prayed and um, these next couple of days... We'll be discussing Sinbad, um, Winter Donovan, Nasir, um, Duke DeJula. I don't know who that is, but somebody put it in the comments. And um, the energies behind the hate crime. Because apparently, Winter Donovan um, and I believe Nasir, I think whoever got extradited, they're being charged. This edge is really irritating me. It's cute over here, but right here it looks like it's sick and all, but it's not. Okay. Anyway, it's really annoying um, to, to look at. Um, they were charged with the whoever was extradited to back to Mexico, which I said they would be extradited. Um, they are charged with a hate crime, and it's basically you hate a woman for being a woman. So who the fuck got charged with that? Um, to my knowledge, Winter Donovan was. Uh, I described her as Winter before I knew her fucking name. Point. I just want to say that. Um. That's a weird fucking name on top of that. It reminds me of like a stage name or some shit. Um, but, and the do not, but I'm trying to figure out who has the hate charge. Who has the hate charge? Because there is a hate charge in this situation. There's a hate charge. And um, I heard went to Donovan's one minute and 18 seconds where she's talking about um, she got attacked because of some dumb shit she did while she was drunk, which means that there's motive. Stupid. I don't know what the fuck wrong with y'all. I'm not saying what happened to us right at all, but it, it, if the criminals, are, like criminals are, a lot of criminals are not as smart as they think they fucking are. Because <laughs> that's just stupid for you to tell anything. Anyway. Um, um, I also want to talk about Sinbad. Remember when I talked about um, Al B. Shore? Sinbad is looking the same fucking way, y'all. Somebody put something up in him and is trying to take him the fuck out. I don't know what the fuck or why, but I want to know why. We want to talk about that. Um, I really want to talk about the energies behind this hate crime. And I don't know who Duke the Jeweler is, but somebody put him down in the comments. So we just want to pull the energies on him and it's going to be something that's going to be quick. Um, another thing I saw in the comments where somebody said that I had his name wrong and all of y'all told me his real name. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for telling me his real name, his, his actual name. Um, Armand Warren. Armand Warren. Now, I do want to say that the reading still stands. It doesn't fucking matter because the if you understand the spirit realm, then you will understand the intent. And the intent was for me to call Regine's boyfriend by the name Aaron 
and I saw Williams. But Spirit knows exactly who the fuck I was talking about because I made reference to Regine. So thank you. But no, thank you. I don't need your advice. And that, I wouldn't say was negative, but it was like laughing faces. So I wasn't sure if it was negative or not. But I just want to make it very clear that the reading still stands because it's all about the intent. The intent was for Regine's boyfriend. Everything I said is going to stand. Point blank, period. I'm not changing anything. I'm not going back redoing it because the same shit going to come out. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Spirit know my heart. Spirit know who I was calling on. Regardless if I got the last name wrong, bitch. It's just a fucking... Um, oppressor ancestor who name it is but the intent was Regine's man and and i believe that that's what came out because i even talked about um a third energy in there and something about a baby but i wasn't sure if they was talking about having a baby which i think that they are talking about having a baby but i wasn't sure if he also had a baby and if there was drama and if there was something in, in between him and another female that she probably caught him around with or probably caught him talking to or something like that i don't know but everything that i said still stands sis okay now have a seat go take a seat here you know on the days that i'm dropping but on your on, on your sidebar time i want you to go look at quotita dean that's miss dean i love her go take some spiritual lessons and you'll understand what i'm talking about all right you'll understand what i'm talking about then if you do the work if you do the work because people like to comment about shit that they don't do. So, if you do the work and you go through all the shit that I've been through and the spiritual journey that I've been through, I've been doing this for a few years now, you know, then you would get what I'm saying, sis. You would get it. But it's cool. Stay tuned. Stay here. I want you to stay here. I want you to keep watching, though, so that you can see. Now, um, first person we want to bring into the room, um, I want to get the energies around Sunday. Shit, I was talking for seven minutes. That was a long ass time. Spirit, angels, ancestors. Sinbad. Sinbad. What's the <laughs> what's the energies around Sinbad, spirit? Angel. One just flipped on the floor, y'all. Spirit, angels, ancestors. What's the <laughs> energies around? Mm, okay, that is enough. Um, the one that found the floor upside down was a page of pentacles. So, um, something about his money was upside down, or um. Uh, he okay okay he wasn't collecting royalties spirit um the royalties that he was collecting wasn't as much as we think it is or somebody had control over his money and spent it all it's either he's not getting paid for the old shit he was doing you know like miss no 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 that's Mr. Cooper. Like the movie Sinbad, uh, when he was a genie, or um, what's something else? It, he he played in a series. He played in a sitcom series. I can't remember what the fuck it was, but he played in a in a series too. So I don't. And he used to guest appearance in places. I don't know if um, he wasn't the the royalties that he was supposed to receive. He was not receiving adequately, and someone else was receiving a proportion of those funds and or and or something was cut off like i see like nothing i see like nothing like it's something and then the like there's nothing it's like i told you that there was something and then you go into the account and then you find out that there's nothing make sense Okay, hope it does. Um, six of Cups. So, like I said, I I I I think that someone was receiving a proportion of his money, or and or he was get thank you spirit, or he was giving someone a proportion of his money, like a large proportion where um he was negate like he was neglecting himself, giving to people. I don't know how many kids he got, or if he have ex wives. Or is he, um, I don't know if he's like responsible for people upside down as the Ten of Cups. Um, I don't think this is going to end well. I don't think this is going to end well. It's like he got, um, thank you, Spirit. It's like he has to pay a debt or something like. 
What's on the bottom, spirit? Angels, ancestors on the bottom. Two of Wands. So, um, somebody watched him get sick or um, helped him get sick. Someone watched him get sick. It's like, I know that it's rat poison in your, in your soup, but I still give it to you every day. It's my job to make sure that you eat this soup every day. It's kind of like that. Um, upside down, the two of cups. Um, I just feel like you're not going, it's, you're not, mm, okay. The person who is getting, okay. All right. So imagine you, this is your money, right? You know how you used to do like um a bubble map in school? Okay, bitch, let's do one. You got a bubble, you got your, your, your main bubble, that's in bad's money, right? That's the big dollar sign, right? Then you have right here, you have the management team. Right here, you have um what the fuck else? What whatever he like to do in his spare time. You got right here, like a child support, or he helping some type of kid in college or some shit, or somebody just got out of college, or somebody that's in college or about to go to college, or somebody that's thinking about going to college, or somebody that's thinking about a business opportunity, something that he would invest in. Then you got oh spirit, thank you. And then you got somebody right here, and this person just be taking like getting a small proportion, but a lot, cause. They've been taking for so long, and it's and it seemed like it's a little bit because they don't take as much as all other proportions. He got that, and that's the person that is looking to receive something bigger. If the ten of cups don't have, and then they're not going to share that with his whoever, uh, if he has kids or whoever's supposed to benefit from his stuff. You feel what I'm saying? And then you have this and then this is for um um living expenses because i don't know what he likes to do but that's expensive whatever he likes to do because that costs damn near as much as it costs to living it's crazy i don't know what the fuck that would be i don't know i ain't rich so i don't know i mean i'm rich you know but i'm not like financially up there in that bracket so i don't know what the fuck they like to do they like to do some weird shit i mean especially weird shit with kids did y'all see balenciaga's um a and those fucking kids got bump BDSM outfit. They got BDSM outfits on the fucking teddy bears, right? Thank you, spirit. They got fucking BDSM uh, outfits on the fucking teddy bears. But then they got the teddy bear standing in front of the fucking child. And the thing is that it's an outfit for the child. So that means that you can purchase children on Balenciaga's website just like you can purchase ch um, children on Walmart website if you do not fucking believe me thank you spirit if, you, if somebody is going to be watching this video they need to hear this if you don't believe what the fuck I'm saying go to Walmart you can try to order a pair of fucking sneakers they're going to be like $25,000 it's a pair of sneakers it's really a fucking child and the size is the age that you want I'm not bullshitting I'm not playing unless you can prove me fucking wrong and you can't because I've done the research myself and there's a long list of celebrities that are trying that they are on they are going to jail because of all this shit. And y'all ain't even seen the real them. That's really a fucking hydroglyphic or a fucking clone. But we'll save that for another day. If y'all ready, tell me that y'all ready in the comments. Anyway, um, this tour cups. Um they're get they're going to give up a portion of his money if the ten of cups does not happen. If, if the Ten of Cups happens where he does not come out of whatever the fuck is wrong with him, that person that is receiving a small proportion will then receive a bigger proportion. And then his family's going to want to know where the fuck is that proportion going. But the, the family won't even know until, like, way after the fact. Um, I don't know if it'll be after the fact that the, that the documents is signed or something. I don't know. It's something about a fucking signature. I don't know. And then we have um, the Five of Pentacles upside down. And um, with that, it's like these motherfuckers right now, he has some people that's iced out, but they won't be iced out once um, once he dies or they, um, they, yeah, they're iced out with a certain financial bracket right now. Like he's not giving to somebody in specific or two people specifically, two people, two people, two people he's not giving to specifically what they want exactly and they're out in the cold right now but if if the if if his demise happens they won't be outside in the cold you get what i'm saying i hope you get what i'm saying um 
spirit angels and ancestors i just want two or three cards from out this deck should we be worried about some bad spirit angels and ancestors um if anything that we should see or anything we should look out for right now that's crime related spirit angels and ancestors let it come out one to three cards spirit one to three cards please what we need to look out for or the energies that's around him right now in the crime deck because i feel like there is a crime spirit angels and ancestors i don't i feel like he um was injected i feel like the same thing that happened to lb sure was happening to him it's, not, it's like i'm seeing a double spirit it's like i'm seeing a double spirit angels and ancestors what energies you got around him right now anything that you can tell us something to look out for that's a lot. That's more than three cards, Spirit. At the end, at the at the end, we got politics. So this is about politics. So somebody wanted him out so that they could gain something. Um, I don't know how many cards. One. Oh, we got four. I said one to three. All right. Um, self defense. The fuck. So he was on defense about I believe financial stuff and he they want him to do something and he didn't do it like i feel like they probably invited him somewhere to a, out prior to one of the parties trying to get him back in the game or to do something like to come back out or something and he went on defense mode like fuck no like i did what i already have done and i'm not contributing anymore like this is where we are determined to get the job done they were determined to get the finance that i'm talking about i am talking about money here they are they are determined to get that shit one way or another nigga if you're not going to get down and lay down then we'll take it from you we'll kill you and take it from you that's the energies that i'm getting thank you spirit um fought back so i believe when they was trying to inject him or when they were injecting him i believe that he fought back but whatever that was something that they gave him was slowing him down and I think that he probably um, hit something on the way down. I don't know if he hit his knee or if he hit his face. But he was he was in a chair. Like, I, I could see him, like, in a chair. Like, um, one of them, not, it, it's not an old chair, but it's not a new chair. It's not, a, well, it's not a modern chair. It's, like, one of them old kind of chairs. Um, but I can't really describe it, but it's like he fell, but... I don't know if somebody hit him. I don't know. Like, somebody's like, boop, bitch. I don't know. Like, I feel... That's, that's how I feel. Abuse. I think that they was down his throat about some shit. And he ain't want to do it. And... I think that he was like, I, I've, I've put in the work. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, I've done everything that you... I could possibly fucking do to help y'all leave me the fuck alone that's kind of like how i get like and he was he was standing on his ground but i feel like they were talking to him in a living room and in the living room is some really really nice furniture i don't even think this is his house because i could see like old old golds and red like few not not fuchsias um uh what's that orange reddish color like i could see a lot of those like paintings or something like he ain't at, he not at home like that's this is not his house he was invited there spirit um that's that that's some heavy shit okay um let's clear the air for that spirit angels ants that's just as clear this for um the next person about to roll up in here because i'm done with that y'all got my face at you All right, y'all. That's it for Sinbad. I might do a part two because this shit is like a little sticky. This is a little sticky. Um, Big prayers for Sinbad. Everything in the video is alleged. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I'm going to drop another video on Mac and Dow 7 Safe Corner tomorrow or tonight. I haven't decided when. I'll probably do it tonight and drop another one on Sunday. Um, Y'all, um, go over there and subscribe if y'all interested in um, tuning in with yourself and with spirit and getting some things off your chest um if you're up for that come on over to the safe corner don't forget to like share subscribe um to this channel if you're not already let's keep growing y'all i'm growing at a steady and nice pace so let's keep that going 
anything um negative i'm definitely going to block you um um anything that's borderline i'll address it um and hopefully you meet your own understanding and hopefully you know you don't um want to stay in ignorance and want to grow because i want to grow in every aspect and i don't want to dwell in, in ignorance and just so that you know ignorance is the un it's something that you just don't know i don't speak on things that i don't know because that is an ignorant act that's the lesson for today everyone have a blessed night i'll be back i'm doing a few more see y'all later